Hi, I'm Bruce, uh, and today I want to help you get the best dagger hair equipment possible, and I'm going to do that by showing you how to make one of our short swords. We want to help strengthen this part of the sword. This is the part where you're going to be hitting people more often than not, and it's the most vulnerable part because that's where the core stops right there, and that's just foam up here. It wiggles a little bit, but you can see that's just the ensolite wiggling. That little layer of, uh, of Eva foam really is staying in place. But we want to reinforce that so the sword's going to last as long as possible. So now I, uh, I'm going to use the one inch tape this time, just for variety. And start just underneath the velara. And we're going to do a really loose spiral. We don't want the tape to be so loose that it sags, but we don't want to be, make it tight either. If I pull on it, if I can see it squeezing in like that, that's too tight. I just want it to sort of lay on there. I like to pull the tape against the corners to help keep that from happening so it doesn't wrap too tight. Go once all the way around. Now I start spiraling up. I like to spiral so I overlap about half of the previous piece of tape. Now, I'm nearly done spiraling the tape up, as you can see, but when I start getting near the tip, I want to start being aware of how far I'm rolling it up, because I don't want to roll it all the way to the tip. If I do that, it's going to make that stabbing tip way too hard. Uh, I want to make sure that there's venting holes for the air to release when pressure impacts in. So I just leave about an inch. That's about as high as I need to go uh, to the tip. So now I sort of straighten out my spiral. And just to make it strong, I like to go around one extra time. So here's our sword blade. Our stabbing tip is all secure, the blade's all bonded together. All it needs now is its handle uh, and cover. So now I'm going to attach the, uh, the pommel uh, and the, the rope grip to one of our swords. I'm going to use the short sword for our demonstration. Now to do this, uh, you're going to need uh, some tape. You're going to need some duct tape, and if you have it, double-sided carpet tape is really going to help with the rope. First, let's use the duct tape. Start by getting half of the roll, and just spiraling it around a few times to the end of your core. This is just going to pad it out, make it a little less square, you don't have to worry about getting it flat. I definitely want it to overhang uh, the edge of the fiberglass just a bit so that edge is uh, less likely to cut into the foam and wear out the pommel from the inside. And I'll just go around a few times. I'm not trying to make a perfect spear, but uh, when it comes to counterweighting swords, it helps to have lots of weight down here anyway, so that tape's a nice way to do that. All right, so now I've just built up a little bit there, push down my edges a bit. Take my short piece of blue foam and wrap that guy around. Now I take my roll of tape and take my other uh, half inch strip, which I haven't used yet, and I'll use that to just tape that guy around nice and tight. Okay, great. Now, I want to tape this onto the core. Notice that I push down this piece here, but it's sort of open. There's a gap right there. I want it to be tight and there to be a gap. I'm going to do that on purpose. When I put my final layers of tape on, that's going to help make a much tighter bond when I strap that in nice and tight. 
All right, so that's enough just to secure that piece on there. Now I take one of my little hexagonal pieces and I do the same thing. Bring it up. And over. And do that in both directions. Okay. Again, keeping this nice and taut and open here, get nice and tight on the edge. And now do the exact same thing again with your second piece. Second piece all taped on there. Now, squeeze that on. Now I'm going to take the final long piece of foam, and that's going to spiral on just like that. Go ahead and just be as tight as you can with that part. Okay, great. That's on there. And now, we can really tighten it down. I'm going to do a long spiral all the way down. Again, go ahead and be nice and tight with this one. First, I get around the foam, make sure that all gets covered. And start spiraling around that first step. Step and then move down to that final step of the core. Now I really want to get really tight with it. Push down all those hanging pieces we made before. So that's roughly it. There's a nice strong pommel. It's not going to fit through uh, the the two-inch hole the weapons checkers use to make sure it's safe. And now, um, before I put uh, some athletic uh, hockey tape on it to make it look a little better, uh, I'm going to apply this rope. 